Good morning investors, my name is Louis from the COSEC research team. Today is Tuesday the 15th of March and here is your pre-market wrap. Yesterday the Australian stock market rose 1.18% to 7,145. While in the US markets ended broadly lower with the tech underperformance we've been seeing continued as the Nasdaq fell around 2%. According to Chris Igu of AXA IM, equities are arguably back to fair value or below in many cases but it might be still too early to sound the all clear on buying the dip. Morgan Stanley sees the dip having further downside with a target of 3,500 on the S&P 500. Currently, we sit at 4,170, so that reflects a further 16% drop from current levels. This worst case scenario comes from a quote, war posing a threat to demand, inflation that is now arguably out of control, and equity market valuations overshooting to the downside. While in Europe, the stock 600 rose for a second consecutive day, up 1.2% with auto stocks leading the gains. As the US raises concerns over China's support for Russia's war against Ukraine, luxury brands in Europe such as LVMH and Reichmont, which make the majority of their sales to China, saw their shares decline overnight. While in Asia, Chinese tech stocks had their worst trading day since the GFC, with the Hang Seng Tech Index falling 11% in its worst day since the index was established in July 2020. Sentiment is China is also weak after COVID-19 cases rise and the Omicron variant spreads from Shanghai to Shenzhen. And moving to commodities, the price of oil fell yet again last night. It's back to 100 US dollars per barrel. And finally for this morning, our SPY futures. They're trading 0.85% lower at 7,087. This market wrap has been brought to you by Kosek, Kadari Securities.